welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite tips from organizing experts that I love. First I'm going to start with Kathy Peel. She's written a quite a few books. She's like a home management expert and my favorite tip from her is that she doesn't give a about being perfect. Her best tip is to really focus on the one thing you're great at and focus on doing that the best that you can. The thing that invigorates you and makes you feel great gives you energy. Make that the focus of your home management, whether it being decorating your home, organizing your home, cooking a great meal. She is a terrible cook, which I could definitely identify with. So she just doesn't do the cooking. And in my case, I'm okay with giving my kids peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and fruit for dinner and just decorating a beautiful table or playing board games afterwards to make up for the fact that I am not a gourmet cook. Love this philosophy that she has about not trying to be a perfect housewife and a perfect home manager and a perfect mom, a perfect working mom, but instead to focus on the things in that job description that we're great at and delegating the stuff we stink at and not feeling guilty about it. Next is of course my favorite organizer, it's Peter Walsh. And the one tip that I love most about Peter Walsh that he's said and that's really made a difference in my life is about guilty clutter really taking a look at the objects that we're holding on to out of guilt. So, you know, things from our mother, that is, our grandmother, people who have passed, gifts, things that we've spent a lot of money on and we feel bad getting rid of these things. He has this whole just ugh, way of talking about them that just makes a light bulb go off. Why are we holding on to things out of guilt? Instead of those things making us feel good or identifying with the person and with good memories, instead they're making us feel bad. Allowing them to go to a home where they'll be loved and cherished like they should be instead of stored in a box in the basement, not doing any justice to these special items in our lives. So getting rid of guilty clutter is probably the number one tip that I got from the wonderful Peter Walsh. Next is one of my favorite experts, Helen Buttigieg. And she's the one who really introduced me to the idea that not everyone organizes the same way. So she's a really big believer in the fact that one container does not work for everybody. And I've really taken this and, and adapted it in my own way with my clients when it came to what clutter bug are you? If you're a butterfly, you're a really visual person, out of sight, out of mind, you're not going to use the same organizing solutions as someone like me who is a ladybug that likes everything hidden away and not to see any clutter at all. I need a completely different organizing system. So that general principle definitely came from Helen Buttigieg. I loved her. She has helped me help so many of my clients by really really identifying that organizing is not one size fits all and everyone needs a different unique system. Next is Julie Morgenstern. She has a great book called Organizing from the Inside Out and I think the number one tip that I got for her is really identifying why we have a clutter issue in the first place. Perhaps in our childhood, you know, we had um, to deal with lack of money, we didn't have a lot of things, maybe lack of affection, and are we holding on to things to feel that sense of abundance? She definitely goes over a lot of different reasons why people have clutter issues, and I think really if you understand why you're holding on to things, it makes it so much easier to get rid of them. So that is the number one tip from Julie Morgenstern. Last is Marie Kondo who wrote The Magic of Tidying Up. This book I found for myself wasn't exactly as um, helpful as I was hoping it would be. For me, I can't do a full house you know, tackle, take everything out and, and identify what I really love and let go, probably because I'm a bit of a clutter bug and a slight pack rat. But I did love the tip from her that when it comes to clothing and books or sentimental items, to actually touch them, hold them in your hand and ask yourself, does this make you feel joy? And if it doesn't, to let it go. The idea that you're actually holding the object in your hand and really asking yourself, you know, how it makes you feel is such a great way to help you purge and get rid of, especially things like books and clothing and things like that. And while I didn't feel that her methods would work 
personally for myself, um, I'm more of a, <laughs> a lazy declutterer, you know, a little bit here and there. Um, I did really um, think that the make, does it make you feel joy was an awesome tip. So those are a few of my favorite organizing tips from my favorite organizing experts. I'll put the links to all of their most popular books below. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what your favorite organizing tip is from an organizing expert or yourself. Please put it in the comments below and we'll see you next time.